steps, three simple ways to start owning your, your, your greatness. And I'll, I'll give you a bonus one. Who knows what gratitude means? Yes. Without saying grateful, who knows what gratitude is? But absolutely yes. Yes. Being appreciative of something, right? Being grateful for what you have. Because a lot of you in here may think that you're not rich, but you are. I've been to countries where kids don't even have shoes. Is there anybody in here without a pair of shoes on their feet? Without a pair of Who didn't come with shoes on? Who, is there anybody in here who does not own a pair of shoes? I see hair. I see stilettos. I see jewelry. I see bags that probably cost more than my Michael Kors bag and you're 16. So you all are so very blessed. So I need you, you can clap, yeah, clap for that one time. for food. It's still lasagna or risotto or rosini or quintini in there. And somebody do doesn't have that right now. Somebody is walking through the desert searching for clean water and searching for food. And you have rosino and risotto and pepperino right there. See? Okay? So first of all, let's start for being grateful with the shoes on our feet. I didn't wear my red bottoms today because I'm not scuffing them up. But be grateful for the shoes that you have on your feet. Be grateful for these $600 cell phones that you have in your hand. Be grateful for the beautiful hair that you have on your head, whether it's yours or not. Don't care, be grateful for it. Be grateful that the air we're breathing, we don't even have to think about it. We don't have to think about breathing in clean air. We're not at a threat for, for, for things happening to our air. We have water over there that's clean. You don't even have to think about it. All you have to do is go over there, grab it, and drink it. You don't have to sterilize it. You don't have to boil it. You don't have to worry about whether it's going to kill you or not. So take a moment and be grateful for the things that you have. All this social media is making you feel like you need more and more and more and more. Social media is a facade. What do I mean by facade? It's fake. Okay? It's not real. I can take a picture right now and say that I'm in Dubai and post it, and half of the people will believe it because it's a facade. So make sure you're separating reality from social media. Okay? So separate that. So sit here now quietly. Tell her to take her earplugs out. That's a little rude, baby. Take your earbuds out. You can jam after I'm done. Okay? If you have earbuds in, take them out. I don't speak for my phone, just for me. Okay? If you have on earbuds, please respectfully take them out. Thank you. So take a moment and be grateful for the things that we take advantage of on a daily basis. For the fact that when you go home, you're not going to have to worry about lights or heat or air conditioning. You're not going to have to worry about going into a mud hut where you might get attacked by a snake or where mosquitoes are flying all over you and you have to worry about malaria. You don't have to take malaria pills before you walk outside. Even if your parents are not in your life, that's okay. You made it. Somehow, you're still here. You've overcome something. I love that champion jacket. That's nice. You all be grateful for that. I'm grateful for that. So let's take a moment of silence and start to think of some of the things that you're grateful for. Adults, we can do this too, because we get caught up in this and this and that. But let's be grateful for our jobs, grown-ups. Let's be grateful for our children, no matter what condition they may be in. I know your kid's crazy. I was a crazy kid too. But let's be grateful for them. Let's be grateful that we're impacting and influencing all these young ladies today who could have been anywhere in the world, but they decided to be here with us. But our lives are moving at a very rapid rate. A very rapid rate. And sometimes we don't take the time to be grateful for the simple things. So I'm grateful for the simple things. I'm grateful for all of you. I encourage you to own your greatness. That's how it begins. You have to believe it within yourself. I'm not going to be here every single day to remind you that you're great. I'm not going to be in your face every day saying, hey, you're great, you're wonderful, you're awesome. There was a man named Zig Ziglar who said that people often complain that motivation doesn't last. And then he said, well, so bathing doesn't last either. That's why you have to do it every single day. So when I leave, how are you going to continue
to motivate yourself. When you're out of my presence and out of this building and out of these workshops, how are you going to continue to do those things? So the first start is understanding and recognizing that you are great. And if that's something that you believe, say, I am great. I am great. This side believes me. This side believes me. This side, not quite yet. Let me hear it again. I am great. that you understand that. So I want you, for the last time, I want you to stand up and scream as loud as you can when I tell you to. This is the part where you put the work in for yourself. I already know I'm great. I already know that. This is the part where you put the work in for yourself. Because if you won't put the work in for yourself, the world will have nothing to offer the world. So for those of you who are sitting down, Because if I ask you to do something for yourself, I still got ladies sitting down. This, this is the part where I, get, where I get a little disappointed. Because as people who come from impoverished backgrounds, and as people who come from, 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 from tough and challenging places, we need the most work, but we're the least willing to do the work. You won't even stand up for yourself, and that disappoints me. That really disappoints me. It really does. Because in the Bible somewhere, probably in the Quran, somewhere in the Torah, whatever book you believe in, it says that a man is, is not a prophet in his own home. So I can go to all these different countries, and the kids are like, oh, This is 
a reminder of your greatness. This is a day you have to start believing that. And if you can't believe it for yourself, I feel so bad for you. I feel so bad for you. You have to start pouring into yourself. Do more for you. This is for you. Your education, do better. At home, do better. In your friendships, do better. If you're 16 and you don't have a driver's license, that's a goal. Do better. If you've been looking for a job but you haven't found one, get out here and grind. More applications, do better. If you want to go to college, seniors, and you haven't registered for any colleges, or you haven't taken the SAT or the ACT, do better. Do better. Challenge yourself. I'm a champion, but guess what? You all are too. You can do what I'm doing and much more, okay? You can do anything that I'm doing, anything anybody else is doing and much more, but you have to believe that for yourself. That's my rant. Y'all gonna do Crocker in your side?